sea salt spray for your beard to style. Is it a good idea or is it something you should stay away from? Well guys, my name is Dan C. Bearded. I'm going to answer that question just after the intro with science, with experience, and just some good old fashioned common sense. To start to answer this question, I do want to say I use sea salt spray every single day that I am teaching or I don't wear a hat and I want my head hair to look nice. What do I use? Right now I'm using the salt texturizing spray from 7 Potions and I want to make something very clear here. 7 Potions or anybody else does not pay me to put these products in this video. It's not some cheesy thing like, oh, this is what I use. They have no idea I'm making this video. I haven't even talked to them in months. I'm showing you this in the video because this is what I use every day. When the top of my hair was a little bit longer, I would use a styling clay. But now that it's shorter, I like the sea salt spray. It just doesn't work as well when my hair gets longer. And I do not like using clays and pomades because all the residue gets stuck in my hair there. But again, I want to make that very clear, guys. I don't get paid to put anything in this. People be like, oh, nice product placement. No, I just tell you guys what I use in the videos because people prefer that. Stop the video, guys. Leave me a comment down below if A, you're bald and you don't have to worry about your head hair. If B, you have head hair but you don't do anything to style it. Or C, you have head hair and then what do you use to style it? Palmade, clay, hairspray, gel, sea salt spray, whatever it is. I am genuinely curious to know what you guys do uh, to style your hair because when I see a guys with a ton of product in it, uh, they must be night shower people or something because going to bed with product in my hair just drives me crazy. Sea salt spray kind of goes away. But sea salt spray in your beard, big no. Do not use sea salt spray to style your beard. I get asked this question all the time because there are companies, large prominent companies, that advertise sea salt spray for styling your beard. There is one main reason we should be able to not use sea salt spray in our beard and in our head hair. Why? Because they're different. I'll say it a million times, but it's true. The skin underneath your head hair and the hair itself is different than the skin underneath your beard and the hair itself. Here's a little experiment that you guys could do that would sh sum this up and really prove it for everybody. Go one week without taking a shower. Tell me what your head hair is going to feel like and look like as compared to your beard hair after that week. Now, if they are the same, like a lot of these companies want to make it seem like, they would look and feel the same. That's not the case at all. Spoiler alert, your head hair is going to be a greasy mess and look nasty. Your beard is going to be dry and brittle and look like a bird's nest. Two totally different experiences, all because of the sebum oil that is being produced. We have more sebum oil that's being produced from the skin with our, our scalp and below our head hair as compared to the skin below our beard. So we need to treat that appropriately with our products. Salt is a dehydrator. It takes away hydration. We want to leave as much hydration in our beard as possible. When you remove that hydration, it can get things stiff and brittle and make it kind of look like everything's bonded together, but that is not healthy for your beard. If you've never used sea salt spray in your beard, go into the ocean, come out, let it air dry, and tell me what your beard feels like. It's going to be that same brittle experience. You don't want that when you're styling. Go for a balm, go for a butter, go for a cream, go for something that's going to style your beard in a healthier way than by pulling the hydration out of our beard. When you are not having a hydrated beard, you get split ends, you get knots, you get damage, you get breakage, all those things we do not want. And I've tried several different sea salt sprays in my beard. I've tried this one from Seven Potions. They do not advertise it as a beard spray, to be clear, at least to my understanding. I have tried the Beard brand Old Money Sea Salt Spray in my beard, absolutely hated it. Tried it on my hair, it didn't work for my hair either, so I gifted it to a buddy so I don't even have it with me. I've tried one from the store, it was called like Beach Babe or Beach Blonde, something like that. It was just garbage, didn't work for my hair or my beard. And then I've tried some other small batch ones that I liked on my hair, but again, it just is not something that I would recommend for your beard. There have been zero, let me say this, zero for my argument and for the other side. There have never been clinical studies done with sea salt and the beard. 
So if anybody wants to tell you about the benefits and what it does to your beard hair, they're simply talking about research that's been done about your head hair. I'm coming to you guys from a place of common sense and logic and experience. Knowing that that salt is going to remove hydration, knowing how my beard has felt after using sea salt spray, I can strongly tell you guys, no, do not use sea salt spray to style your beard. It is not going to be a healthy approach to making your beard look nice. So I hope you guys answered that question earlier. I hope this answers your guys' questions. And please leave me any thoughts down below. Have you used sea salt spray? Do you currently use sea salt spray on your beard? What are your thoughts on this? Give me any perspective. It is an open forum here as long as we are professional and mature as always there. So guys, Dan C. Bearded, please stay bearded and stay positive.